Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look at what an interval is and what a range is in preparation for your ISA. So this is the experiment I've been using as an um, example throughout this. I use this as an example for the table and the um, graph. Uh, so Primrose, I've thrown her some cat treats. I throw them five different distances and then I'm timing how long it takes her to fetch the cat treats. So I'm going to say it again because it's really important. The independent variable is the bit that I'm changing. So I'm changing the distance that I throw the cat treats. The dependent variable is the bit that I'm measuring. So I'm measuring how long it takes her. Now the range in this experiment is from the smallest distance to the longest distance. So from 10 centimetres to 50 centimetres and you'll notice that I have put units on both of these. Whenever you write a number down in the exam always 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 write a unit. So the range is from the smallest to the largest. The interval is the gap in between. So from 0 to 10 the difference is 10 centimetres. From 10 centimetres to 20 centimetres, the difference is 10 centimetres. From 20 centimetres to 30 centimetres, the difference is 10 centimetres, and so on. So the interval is 10 centimetres. And yet again, I'm using my units here. Now, when you're picking the range and the interval that you're going to use in your experiment, think about sensible numbers. If when I did this experiment, I first threw the cat treats one millimetre and then the last time I threw them, I threw them 10 metres, this wouldn't be very sensible because one millimetre is very hard to measure, 10 centimetres is a very long way and say we were doing this in the lab, I wouldn't be able to throw it 10 metres and it will probably take quite a long time for Primrose to come back and fetch the cat treats. So remember... Your independent variable is the one you change. The dependent variable is the one you measure. Your range is from the smallest value to the largest value. Your interval is the gaps between them. And whenever you're picking values, they have to be sensible values.